experience a magical weekend of the City of Light. Here is what everyone on the racing planet seeks over the Cata Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe, of which the 24th edition went down in history with Triff's double at Deauville, October 2011, South Philly. During the thoroughbred championship not far from Longchamp Racetrack on the Marcel Boussac auction ring, Arcana organizes a prestigious sales for horses in training, including few runners of the weekend. This is how Aubrey kicked off Saturday by landing the Prix Chaudney Group 2, first race of the festival. That same evening, the Cult Lot 16 was knocked down for 800,000 euros to New Zealand bloodstock agent Michael Wallace on behalf of China Horse Club. You know, he's a, a proven group performer, so uh, hard to acquire and a uh, very nice acquisition for the China Horse Club to add to our you know, wonderful string of racehorses. More than likely, he'll uh, head down to uh, Australia, um, you know, an ideal Melbourne Cup prospect, and uh, we look, look forward to being there uh, next year. We love the French racing and uh, it's nice to be able to buy a, a proven product that's that's ready to go. The uh, China Horse Club's had uh, a good amount of success through the uh, Arc sale, uh, purchasing a horse called Trapeos who uh, went back to Singapore, won the uh, the one million dollar um, Singapore Gold Cup. So uh, it's been a good sale to us and hopefully it continues. Another low other horse in training, the Philly Crisol Lot 23, declared to run in the Prix de l'Opéra the following day was bought by the same team for 720,000 euro. We always been looking at the French horses. We have a very close relationship with the uh, Akana and also with the uh, International Federation, uh, Louis Romanet, and with French Gallo tonight. So I think uh, it's very good that uh, we look at the quality of horses here and it can be for the States, it can be for Europe and also for Australia. The third top prize was once again by Le Havre Orbeck, lot 44, also from Gérard Augustin Normand, purchased for 600,000 euro by the China Horse Club, who spent a total of 2,067,000 euros for five lots. Whilst the underbeaters from Qatar, Japan, Dubai, England and France show the international calibre of the event, the Irishman Dermot Weld, famous globetrotter but rarely seen around an auction ring, won the battle for the Aga Khan Behesht for 525,000 euro for his American client, Calum Farms. I have two runners in Paris tomorrow. That's the reason? <laughs> the arc, uh, the arc weekend. So, um, no, this is a nice horse and we saw him in the catalogue and we thought uh, we'd like to buy him. Um, and uh, I purchased on behalf of Calumet Farm, so um, let, let's hope that he can progress to win maybe a group race next year. And he's a beautifully bred horse and I thought uh, an outstanding individual. From Australia to the United States through China, horizons of the racing planet are more than ever endless during the arc sales. Arcana now sets a date from 20th to 23rd October for the Yearling Sale, which produced the winners of 12 Group 1 since 2013, including Hijinx, who ended the Arc Weekend with winning Prix du Cadran, defeating Base Roan, a horse from the August session.